Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man. Peep game. Um, here's my theory on what's going on with the whole Floyd Mayweather whole, you know, Conor McGregor fight thing. Now, um, apparently Dana White did an interview with Jim Rome, and basically he was expressing his concerns, so-called concerns for why the big fight between Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor has been made. And he told Jim Rome he felt like is you know the fight stalled in negotiations because of Dana White and UFC no fault of Floyd that Floyd really was trying to push forward and you know make this fight and basically Dana White was saying they was pushing for September 16th and now based off the fact you got the fight coming up between you know Cinnamon and Triple G that fight can't be made and it appears that he said, uh, maybe don't quote me on this, that they're going to, they issued a deadline, basically try to have this fight done by Sunday or something, you know, or it's just not going to happen. Here's my thing. I believe that Dana White and UFC never wanted this fight to happen. They think that Conor McGregor doesn't have a chance in hell against Floyd Mayweather. And they think Conor McGregor will be badly humiliated. One, you have to look at the fact that Conor McGregor is, what, 27, 28? And Floyd Mayweather is 40, year old, 40, 40 years old. So it's a lot of formalities you have to look at when it comes to this fight. One, Conor McGregor isn't a boxer. And then two, Floyd Mayweather is an established boxer. It would be a straight-up boxing man. One scenario is they don't want to see Conor McGregor get the living shit beat out of them you know i know richard schaefer said it would be more competitive than what people think it would be but come on man that's just him putting on this promoter set i see it being uh one-sided you know i i see it being probably similar to uh the fight that took place on um on saturday and then keep in mind floyd is 40 years old and he hasn't fought and pretty much two years or going on two years and I think people would think it would just be a big embarrassment to um, to them so they don't want to see it I think that it would be a big embarrassment to the UFC to see uh, Conor McGregor get humiliated so they just don't want to do this fight now I do think that Conor, Conor McGregor and company well I'm not going to say Conor McGregor I think Conor McGregor does want to fight but I think Dana White is really behind this, the mastermind. I think he's, you know, aligned himself with Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Shower. I think that they paid him some money to stall negotiations for this fight. Because it's funny that this fight hurried up and got made when it looked like this fight was in doubt of happening September 16th. Then, you know, when you watch that exhibition match that just passed, uh, Saturday, that sparring session, then all of a sudden it gets announced. So I think it was pressure on everybody to hurry up and make this fight. I think, you know, Cinnamon was like to Oscar, you need to hurry up and make this fight because if Floyd and Conor McGregor get that September 16th date, then we're pretty much up shit creek. Then you have to push the fight back till next year. So I think it was pressure for. Golden Shower to make this fight. Now, I know he's sitting up on, you know, first take, talking about, yeah, well, I told you guys it's going to happen, and, you know, patting himself on the back. We already knew he had no choice but to make the fight. So, that's my take on the whole thing. I think Dana White got paid some money to stall this fight, you know, the Floyd Mayweather fight. I think that it was just a lot of pressure on Golden Shower you know, to make this fight. So it is what it is. That's my take, man. I'm out.